What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Zane Investing. We appreciate you joining us today and your support. Adam, Aaron, and the executive team look to be making the ultimate sacrifice in an effort to save AMC. Make certain to remain around. However, before I begin I would appreciate it if you would give the channel a thumbs up. I do want to ensure that we are giving daily AMC content of the highest quality. Despite the fact that the stock market does not rest unless it is a holiday, I am still present. But recently, there has been a great deal of talk about the possibility of a consolidation or conversion of AMC preferred stock units, commonly known as AAP. In addition, the possibility of a 1 for 10 stock split could propel us in the correct direction. Now, we must recall that there are other reasons why this could be done. And the more I examine the current situation, the more I suspect that Adam Aaron and the leadership team may have planned this from the start. Clearly, there are a significant number of naked shorts in the stock. This is evident from the delivery failures in both AMC and AP. In addition, we have these synthetic shares. So we have ample basis to suspect that we have been subject to a degree of predatory, naked and short selling. However, other corporations that have hired law firms have seen their stock price decline. Consequently, I believe this is a move that Adam Aaron is making in his 4D chess game. Now, once more, everyone has their own view regarding how they will vote at this point. The majority of you probably already know how I intend to vote. But I wanted to highlight Randall Cornett as one of the voices in the community that believes they are headed in the right direction. I have yet to form my own opinion regarding the AMC split, as stated by Randall Cornett. I'm still processing the majority of the information I've gathered. I'll post important findings in a thread below. Again, this conclusion is derived from that file, which states in this response that I construct the hypothesis that short selling occurs around reverse stock splits and that it exerts further downward pressure on the values of reverse stocks. The value of split shares fluctuated. In 2009, Lee Winner demonstrated that short sellers who accurately predict future negative anomalous profits produce substantial rewards. However, we must also consider the other side of the current situation, namely the fact that the cost of borrowing has risen dramatically and dramatically. AMP demonstrates once more that they are trying all possible to depress the price at this time. This figure exhibits a CER in the 20 days before and after reverse stock splits for 161 treated firms and full reverse stock splits for 161 match control firms. ASR is the ratio of daily short selling volume to total volume. Again, the control is quite modest, although the real treatment is rising. He continues speaking. Our discovery may explain the abnormal behavior of stock prices following stock splits and reverse stock splits, as well as the rise or decrease in return volatility following splits. Thirdly, we observe an increase in liquidity after reverse splits, indicating an increase in the average trade size after the splits, again indicating an increase in institutional activity. The increase in liquidity following a reverse split is consistent with previous research on split. Since Scholes discovered a drop in liquidity, we have observed essentially the same thing here as well. In contrast, Reverse splits are viewed as an indicator of negative returns and are typically utilized by companies in need of fundamental adjustments. However, we should keep in mind that AMC does not require a fundamental transformation. We are exposed to large amounts of predatory short selling, which has also occurred here. To conclude what they have said, this excellent versus eagle analysis examines the wrong, the long-term performance return of over 1,600 companies with reverse stock splits. These stocks have statistically significant abnormally negative returns over the past three years. In the four years including and after the year of the reverse split, the sample firm's operating performance was poor, indicating informational inefficiency. Due to the unusual financial characteristics of these equities, we also demonstrate that it would be extremely difficult to sell short and hence engage in arbitrage. Even if Rogers properly anticipated a price fall, the company would be unable to reap exceptional profits. Again, we have observed predatory behavior for an extended length of time. Therefore, if we are now observing a lack of capability to participate in this predatory behavior, I have no doubt that Adam Aaron and the executive team will continue to pursue it. However, we must also recall that, much to the anger of hedge funds, Adam Aaron has been effectively connecting with the AMC community more frequently as of late. Nonetheless, Happily, 
the majority of those who want him to do so are in agreement. Following Moonwalker's tweet, Adam Aaron tweeted, Love you, Adam, but thanks for this. Someone does need to teach you how to create threaded posts, despite your repeated assertions that you know how to thread tweets. However, here is an intriguing Twitter discovery that may surprise you. My embedded ad on tweets often have between one-third and one-half the readership of the thread's initial tweet. Because I want the message to be delivered, I avoid threads. No, guys. Adam Aaron is doing everything possible to guarantee that the information reaches as many people as possible and that we are doing all necessary to eliminate the short sellers once and for all. But it is hardly the only thing he has stated, especially considering the fact that he spoke very recently about the notion, let's call it, to stop higher end remuneration and ensure that his income does not increase, nor does the executive salary, but the employee salary. So AMC responds to Kershaw by asking if the employees will receive a raise. Adam Aaron affirms positively, Yes, we are only requesting financial sacrifice from the wealthiest individuals. It is difficult to recruit employees. The hourly earnings of our film crew, who work in you, S. Cinemas' hourly employees have increased by double-digit percentages. As if there wasn't already a reason to be optimistic about Adam, Aaron, and Amk, things are currently looking stronger than ever. There is no doubt in my view that he is doing everything he can to ensure that he and his employees are treated appropriately, despite the fact that we are in a relatively unpleasant economic environment. However, there are still many who have remained skeptical. Adam Aaron to conclude. I would like to pose the following question to those who doubt Adam Aaron. Do you truly believe that the decisions of any other CEO would have resulted in a decline in the share price? Or that any other CEO would have embraced the movement as Adam Aaron has and that we would be better off with just another guy? Adam Aaron has spent his entire career expertly bringing firms back from the verge of extinction. Consider the Vale Resorts. Take a peek at Norwegian Cruise Lines. And you have ample evidence that he has been doing this his entire life. Now, once more, he will not finish with the loss of that magnitude. That is, I am aware that I have eight buddies. I spoke with members of the community. I chat to you. He will not conclude with a loss. Again, we are aware that there is an absurd amount of market suppression and manipulation. We are aware that hedge funds will continue to defer responsibility for as long as possible. However, we also know that the apes will ultimately prevail. The current video has reached its conclusion. Thank you so much again for joining us. Please certain that you smash those thumbs. However, before subscribing to the channel, you should visit Moomoo, which sells free stock. Thank you incredibly, and we'll see you again soon.